How is VMAT different from IMRT? When it comes to advanced radiation therapy techniques, many people wonder how volumetric modulated arc therapy, or VMAT, differs from intensity modulated radiation therapy, or IMRT. Both methods are used in oncology to treat cancer, but they have unique features that set them apart. Let's break it down. IEMRT is a technique that allows doctors to adjust the intensity of radiation beams. It uses multiple beams directed from different angles, each with its own intensity. This helps to create a highly conformal dose distribution, meaning the radiation can be precisely targeted to the tumor while sparing surrounding healthy tissues. On the other hand, VMAT is an advanced version of IEMRT. Instead of using fixed beams, VMAT delivers radiation in a continuous arc around the patient. This dynamic approach allows for more efficient treatment delivery while still maintaining precision in targeting the tumor. One of the key differences between the two techniques is how the beams are delivered. IEMRT relies on multiple static beams from fixed angles, while VMAT employs a rotating gantry that delivers radiation in arcs. This means VMAT can provide more angles and a more continuous dose distribution, which can be beneficial for complex cases. Another important distinction is treatment time. IEMRT generally takes longer because each beam needs to be set up and delivered individually. In contrast, VMAT offers significantly shorter treatment times since the radiation is delivered continuously as the machine rotates around the patient. When it comes to plan quality and efficiency, both techniques have their strengths. IEMRT can achieve high quality plans with a larger number of beams, but it may not always be as efficient as VMAT. VMAT typically provides superior plan quality with improved dose conformity and homogeneity. This is especially important when treating tumors near critical organs, as VMAT can minimize exposure to surrounding tissues. Both IEMRT and VMAT are used for various cancers, including prostate, breast, lung, and head and neck cancers. However, VMAT is often preferred for tumors that are adjacent to critical organs due to its ability to deliver precise doses while protecting healthy tissue. Ultimately, the choice between IEMRT and VMAT depends on the specific characteristics of the tumor, the patient's condition, and the technology available at the treatment center. Both techniques representing significant advancements in radiation oncology, offering improved outcomes and reduced side effects for cancer patients. Always consult with healthcare professionals to determine the best treatment option for individual circumstances.